When the shine of the sun is hidden, by the shadow of the moon, worlds unbound are brought together, and the gate between dimensions thrown open, from the sun under a pall of black, surges forth a sinister host, to gather with the darkness eternal and unyielding that threatens to consume all. To repel this vast evil, warriors from all worlds must unite, the fight to come is theirs, and it is a time whose end cannot be seen. It finished too fast. I couldn't finish reading it. Me Warrior. All right, hello everybody. So it's Delta Shining Zeta here, and welcome everybody to the worst Final Fantasy game of all time. Now, first of all, I know that what I just said is technically an opinion, but let me just say something right now. It is by far one of the most popular opinions out there, because most people who say this game is not the worst Final Fantasy game ever have not played the game. Let's just say that because they can't compare it. I played it and my god it's awful. It is awful, <laughs> okay? So even though you know you see it as part one of a let's play, I'm also putting very clearly on the thumbnail that this is the only episode I'm doing for this game. I'm only doing this because let me be very clear about something. I told myself that I would one day cover every single Final Fantasy game as a let's play or at least show the game on the channel. So this is my way of covering this game on this channel. The main reason why I am not going to be doing this Let's Play, and you'll see why, it's not just because it's a bad game. I've Let's Played bad games in the past, um, but there's a specific reason as to why I'm not doing it for this game, and just one video to showcase the game and cover the game on my channel. But again, you will see. How to play. Just touch a character to make it attack, Kubo. Okay. So here's how you play this game. All the Bravest is essentially a collaboration between a lot of different Final Fantasy components. That's the cool thing, and that's where the cool things end, that you just see a collaboration of a lot of Final Fantasy games. How to actually play? That's how you play. All I'm literally doing right now is touching these characters. And that's it. That is literally all I'm doing right now. I just touched each of these warriors one time each, and they attacked. As you can see, watch out Kubo, enemies will hit back if you attack them, and one hit is all it takes to down one of your characters. Life's not fair, Kubo. Yeah, I know. Alright, well, what can I do? Attack again? Because why not? Okay, so as you can see, this game starts to get pretty bad pretty fast. Like I said, I'm just covering the one video of this game so you can actually see what the game is like. This game, I didn't even mention it, but it came out for iOS back in 2013, early 2013 for iOS, and it has pretty much universally negative reviews. Anyway, you have an hourglass, which you can actually tap to speed up the whole creation of making more guys come back, and there you go. How do you get more? Good question. You know how? Pay money. It's a pay-to-win game. It's essentially a pay-to-win game. Um, so all I'm doing now is just spamming attack on everybody. Sometimes you're going to counterattack and attack me back and some guys will die, but the battle is essentially luck based. All I'm doing is tapping characters. They will sometimes attack me, they will sometimes not. That's the fever button, Koopo. It only appears once every three hours, yes. That's also another reason why I'm not doing a let's play of it, because you essentially have to wait. If you don't want to pay money for this game, you have to be waiting like every three hours to do another mission eventually. I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I just want to play campaign games, single player, and that's it. Uh, so, this is essentially a pay to win game or a wait forever to win game. And because of that, I'm not actually going to be doing anything that's even remotely close to what I just mentioned for any game, not just Final Fantasy. Uh, so, as you can see, okay, let's do a fever. Here we go. Let me show it. During a fever, you can just pretty much spam everything, as you can see. Just use multiple fingers, spam as much as you can, and there we go. You are victorious. Yes, I am victorious. I know that. I know that. So that's one battle down. That red spot marks the next battle stage, Kubo. Tap it and let the fight begin. So here's your, like, map slash menu. As you can see, it just says level 1, 0 gil, and that's it. So, um, yeah, let's tap it. Two goblins? Okay. Let's fight, and by fight I mean tap the screen, tap the warriors.
But as you can see, they counterattack me every now and then. And if they counterattack, your character instantly dies. And that's how the battle work works. You are victorious. Obtain 60 gil, 8 experience, attain level 2, party slot unlocked. Nice. New Ranger. Oh, boy. So Rangers, despite them being... Like, what's funny in the animation is that despite them being, you know, like, ranged, they actually still move towards the enemy and then attack right there. <laughs> That's really funny. Yeah, but okay, while I'm playing this, let me go ahead and mention as to, like... Well, I mean, I don't even need to mention it. It's pretty self-explanatory why this game would get universally negative reviews. Like, just go to the Wikipedia page of this game and see. Just see. Google Final Fantasy All the Brave is Wiki and tap on the Wikipedia page for this game. And just read it. Read the reception. Oh my god, though. Um, but like I was saying, I have pretty much made it... I made an oath to myself to cover every single Final Fantasy game on this channel. One day I will achieve that. I know I will. Because there's a lot of Final Fantasy games, but I have also done a lot of Final Fantasy games, you know? So, because of that, I know that one day I can possibly achieve it, especially if I just keep playing more and more Final Fantasy games. When it came to... Myself thinking, okay, but does that mean I have something to showcase all the bravest? I thought to myself, should I really do it? Because it's not really a Final Fantasy game, because it's, again, it's just a normal pay-to-win, typical iPhone pay-to-win game, you know? Um, but I decided, you know what, I'll just do one video of it to do kind of like a... It's kind of like a half a review as well, although I'm not going to market it as a review, because it's not really a review, because I'm, a review looks at all components of the game, and I'm just playing the game while talking to it, so it's not really a review. Uh, but, okay, so here's Garland. Iconic Final Fantasy 1 boss. He's actually the first boss ever of Final Fantasy. Because it was Final Fantasy 1, the first boss of that game. I mean, really, the only cool thing about this game is that eventually, if you have enough, if you dedicate enough weeks and months to it, or if you just pay enough money to it, You'll eventually see more collaboration aspects. You'll see a lot of different worlds from Final Fantasy, a lot of different locations throughout different Final Fantasy games all in one game. So that's pretty cool, seeing a collaboration, but then again, by this point, it's not exactly unique anymore. I mean, 2013, so, somewhat. I mean, that was around the time. Even before that, they were already making things like Dissidia collaborations. After this came Explorers. Oh yeah, Theater Rhythm actually came before this as well, you know, but... Uh, yeah. Takedown. Oh. You're about to kill me. Will I make it? Will I defeat this boss? Probably not, actually, I'm guessing. So, do you see this, people? Man, I died. I lost. So, here's the thing. I could either hourglass this... If I were to hourglass it, okay, I have to use nine. New white mage. Spam, spam them shots. There we go, I'd be Garland. And again, you can't just exactly hourglass forever. You need to pay money or wait. Okay, sure, let's go here. Got some more enemies, there's some Lobos. Wolves slash Lobos, whatever, you know. But that's essentially the game, you know. Um, as far as length, I don't actually know how long this game is. I haven't done the research, you know, to look at that. I'm assuming it's not extremely long, but it's also not going to be extremely short, because, I mean, if they make a game purposely to pay to win, you can't make it too short, because you can't make a lot of money as a developer, you know? So, that's why I'm assuming that it's actually pretty decent in length. But, I mean, like I said, literally, I'm just... I'm just tapping my characters on the screen. That's all I'm doing for gameplay, just tapping my characters. So, this will be part one, and the only part of this Let's Play, and that's gonna be it. Because there's honestly not that much to showcase for this game in one freaking video. Like, yes, I'm fighting these enemies and all, but... Mm -mm. There we go! You are victorious! Oh, heck yeah. Oh, man. Kill. Kill him. Shit. 
Wait, did he kill me? Did he kill me? Oh, he actually didn't. Oh, now he did. Attack! Attack this guy! So as far as what Final Fantasy game I'll do next on my channel, I'm actually not entirely sure because there's a number that I'm thinking about. Uh, one example is uh, that I want to do is Revenant Wings, Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings. I'm also thinking about possibly potentially doing Final Fantasy IV Heroes of Light. And I've also thought about a couple other things, um, namely um, Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, possibly. And I'm not even sure what else I should do, really. I did actually think about Final Fantasy X-2 last mission to do, but mm, that one also gets quite a grind. So I don't exactly know yet, because I don't know if I can do a game that requires so much grinding as of now. Which is why I'm kind of like in a thinking position here, you know? Like in terms of what to do. But I'm sure I will get around to it. Because I also want to move on to other RPGs for the 3DS, such as, well, I did Pokemon recently. But also, like, Rune Factory, uh, Ever Oasis, Fantasy Life, I want to do those Let's Plays because they're actually pretty fun games. So I'll see, I'll try and get around to it, you know, as soon as possible. Alright, moving on to Cornelius track here. Okay, we're about to fight Chaos. The cycle is... what the, Okay. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so this guy's gonna beat me, I'm pretty sure. Like, there's no way I can beat this guy like this normally. There's just no freaking way. Look how much damage I've done to him. Almost nothing. This takes literally forever. Beat down. Oh, damn. Look at that. I actually got his HP pretty down there, though. That's kind of cool. That did a... Whoa. These moves, though. These moves. I got three guys left, man. Kill him. Kill him. Nope. Oh, man. One archer left. Will I do it? Nope. Well, damn. Hourglass. See, I could use a gold hourglass for a story party. See, I could do that. You can also always purchase hourglasses, you know? It also says deleting this game will cause any gold hourglasses to be lost. Like, are you kidding me? Why? This doesn't make any sense because even in... Like... Whatever. That's so stupid. Hourglass again? Okay. You get the point, though. I mean, I could just hourglass, of course. Keep hourglassing. I could actually come over here. It says, oh, seven? It says, unusable. Well, damn. I can't. I'll just beat this guy, though, just to, like... There we go. He's down. So I think I'm just gonna end it here. Um, you've seen enough of the game. You've seen enough of how bad this game actually is. Uh, so... So, yeah, you know. Touch to skip. So that was all the intro. Now you'll see a menu bar at the bottom of the screen. Oh, sweet. Look at that. Now an actual menu appears. What an improvement map. Bridge of Moor. Cornelius Track. See, so yeah, I can just go back. To that previous area. If I want to, you know? Shop. Summon a legendary character from the Final Fantasy series for a dollar? Hell no. Uh, world tickets. What the hell is this? Buy airship tickets to other worlds. I can go to Midgar. I can go to Xanarkand. I can go to the Arkhild Steppe. Oh man. Restore? No. Uh, let me go back. What else is there for another option? Catalog. Look at this. Look at all these characters. That's interesting, right? Character is 16% is what it says. And finally, what the hell is this? Twitter? La hell no, I'm not gonna do that either. Well, that's it. Bridge of Moor is next. 
But I'm gonna end it here. I'm not gonna play this game because it's just gonna be so infuriating. Alright, so... If you enjoyed this rather lousy episode, please be sure to leave a like. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you, and as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and fantastic day.